Hello, welcome to Andale Homestead. I'm Ann, and I'm so glad to have you here in our colony. I wanted to give you a little update on the garden and what is happening here. And uh, we have some jobs that we need to do today. And I thought I would take you along. So thanks for being here and let's get started. We'll start on the outside of our garden. Look at my Georgia collards. I'm gonna have them for Thanksgiving meal. They did well. Um, we had to go to battle with those old worms. Ooh, there's a spider. But I think they're looking beautiful. I'm not exactly sure when to pick them, but um, it's very soon. I'm sure it's soon. And then we have our beets, our Swiss chard, our dill. The okra plants need to go. And uh, we also have over here some celery that's coming along. My husband has never seen celery growing, but it's doing well. And my Aunt Peg's favorite thing to cook is potato salad for Thanksgiving. And she especially likes the green tops to put in there. So that's going for the um, Thanksgiving meal. And then we have our cabbage. Look, y'all. I've got some little bitty heads that are starting in our cabbage. Man, I'm telling you what, we had to go to war with those worms. Woo! They were just eating things alive. You see all of that? But um, especially this one was eating like crazy, but look at those little heads forming in there. It's so exciting because I've never grown cabbage before. Now, well, the things that we need to do today are, I need to pull the radishes. I'm gonna plant some more in there. I need to do something with the lettuce. But the big deal today, our main objective, is to go ahead and pull the last of the tomatoes. Yeah, we still have a few tomatoes that are on the vine that I plan on clipping off. But I thought I'd take you along as we pull out the last of the tomatoes for this year in the land of plenty. Gotta have your gloves, right? Well, sort of. I don't really have to have gloves, but I do wear them when I know I might be pulling my hands a little bit. And uh, this particular tomato plant was our brandy one. Okay, I'm not sure I can show you really, but it came up here all the way over here, all the way over here. And believe it or not, it still has some blooms, but I don't see any tomatoes that are gonna be growing in there this time of year. So we're gonna go ahead and make space for some more stuff and to sort of let the soil rest a little bit. Here we go. a bucket apparently for all these scraps of material let's do that and I'll be right back so far so good look at there there's the side we have left to go but look over here y'all oh my gosh all the tomatoes are gone and look how big they are can you see those all those vines that's crazy but I'm happy to be doing this and making some more room. Sorry about the hand there. Making more room for more crops. Oh, wow. Goodness. Woo! That was a big one. Yep. That was a good and healthy one. Okay, y'all, I know I just pulled this one out but it goes all the way up. This is an indeterminate. The vines go all the way through here, all the way over to here, and they've been trimmed. And that also is like one, 
two tomatoes that is all strewn through here. It's been so much fun watching these. Whew, let's see what we can do. Pull, 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 pull. Oh, it's such a pretty day here today, y'all. And um, it's so tempting. You see that little mater trying to grow? I hate to pull it out, but it's part of that big stem. Anyway, it's fun to see life continuing, even when it's past its prime. All right, we're gonna pull another one. Let's see how this one goes. some roots this time. Uh-oh. Taking the post with it. Oh! Timber! <laughs> Thank you for your service, Mater Plants. Time to get the real muscle out here. Take some of these stakes out of the ground. We'll bring you back when it's all done. Y'all, we're peeling back that ground cover and it's the 15 year warranty ground cover. Look how beautiful that dirt is. There's lots of roots and things, but um, that is the one to use, the 15 year co cover not warranty, not the five-year warranty. And it was not terribly expensive. I think I paid $5 a roll for it. And one roll covered that whole aisle and then some. So maybe you can check that out. You get 50 feet in a roll. 50 feet in a roll. Now to start on the cherry tomatoes. They have served us well, but it's time for them to go to. Thank you, Warth. <laughs> so all those tomato plants and those are the few little tomatoes we have left until next spring. Although I do have some under glass. Shoo! Okay. Look at there. Look at all that space in the land of plenty. And what we're planning on doing with uh, these, well, for one thing, we have to amend all this soil and give it its nutrients back that we borrow to give us our food. But we have these buckets, these black buckets that we're going to, uh, I'm in the soil in there too. It's really, really good soil. Let me see if I can get you in there. See, that's good soil. See what else we can grow. Won't that be cool? All right, we're just about finished here. And I'll show you a few more things. Sweet Worthdale is uh, cleaning up because the job is not finished until it's all the way finished and cleanup is complete. Thank you for coming. We hope uh, to see you soon. Bye-bye now.